From igloo satellite cabins for extreme weather, to homes made for the poor using three-dimensional printing, and even relaxing on the side of a building, small shelters and homes have many uses. This is Glenn, and today we are bringing you 10 small shelters and homes made for living, working, and relaxation. Number 10. Made for extreme weather, the Igloo Satellite Cabin can withstand ice, wind, snow, and sub-zero temperatures in remote areas of the world. Designed by Icewall, an Australian company, these can be flown into remote areas fully assembled and often fully equipped. Made from eight wall panels and four self-supporting floor panels, this prefabricated fiberglass cabin is 3 meters or 9 feet 10 inches in diameter and 2.1 meters or 6 feet 10 inches high. These are bolted together and held down by eight wire tie downs, four of which can be used as lifting straps for flight by helicopter. Each wall panel is a composite of polyurethane insulation and fiberglass, and the windows are shockproof double glazed polycarbonate. All igloos are customizable, available in a range of colors and configurations, and include an extended igloo escape hatch, a top escape hatch, ventilation, a door, and a window. Number nine. Hanging off of a city rooftop way up in the air is something that most people would not want to do. But Alice Bladen designed the Monada capsule to do just that. Made to give a break from the daily grind and reconnect with the city around you, these are both an escape and a connection to your surroundings. The project was inspired by minimal living spaces designed for extreme conditions that offer minimal comforts and protect from outside climate. These capsules are accessible, livable, and comfortable. The Monada capsules are lightweight and made with a transparent resin used in combination with fiberglass to allow for a relaxing atmospheric light and provide office workers a space for isolation and a break from the office to re-engage with the environment. A Dutch swimming pool company made the parts based on the principle of modules with four steel molds to create 21 pieces, allowing for an infinite number of forms. Number eight. NOLA is a beautiful cabin retreat that was built by Finland-based designer Robin Falk using sustainable materials and designed to leave minimal impact on the environment, allowing visitors to have a zero emissions holiday. The size of a small bedroom, the cabin can be transported and assembled without the need for heavy machinery. Using cradle-to-cradle -cradle design principles, it is pieced together like a puzzle. Built from A-frames with a glass front to give guests a direct view of the surroundings, this focuses on self-sufficiency and low-impact living, while the design excludes most modern commodities, including an indoor bathroom. The energy supply of this cabin is completely renewable, and electricity is generated by solar panels with a stove that runs on renewable diesel that is 100% made from waste. Number seven. Designed by Roderick James Architects, the prototype Airship 2 is a tiny pod retreat located on a remote area along Scotland's coast, overlooking the Isle of Mull. The submarine-inspired building is covered in aluminum and has a nautical theme made obvious by the many portholes. Although the airship is a compact structure, space-saving techniques such as a fold-out table keep the living area organized, and the interior has a relaxing atmosphere with a warm interior and plenty of natural light. Two glass-domed walls on either side of the building offer many wonderful views. Just past the open kitchen area, the bedroom features a queen-size bed with a pair of portholes allowing guests to look out at the sky, and a wooden deck with outdoor seating on the side of the pod offers additional views of the surrounding area. If you would like to own one of your own, you can visit the website in the description. Number 6 Designed by British inventor Chris Sneesby, the Archipod are garden office buildings designed to match a garden landscape, be well organized, ergonomic, and unusual. Delivered and installed as an integrated package, including concrete foundation blocks, these require an electricity supply and a telephone connection from the house. Built to customer order and tailored to suit requirements, an Archipod office does not normally require planning permission. The pods have a diameter of 9 feet 6 inches internally, with the top of the dome being 8 feet 3 inches from the floor. The walls consist of curved plywood 
with compressed fiberglass insulation and a plasterboard finish, while the external shell consists of western red cedar shingles. A double glazed stainless steel porthole window on a glazed 3 feet 4 inch diameter hinged polycarbonate roof dome maximizes natural light and ventilation. You will need to check with the manufacturer for pricing on this. Number 5 Manufactured and designed in South Africa, the Pod Idandla is a modular nano home prefabricated off site to specifications and transported by a professional installation team and installed on site. These use aluminum, steel, and wood as their standard construction materials. An ideal starter home for a first time homeowner or a holiday getaway, this sleeps too comfortably in the mezzanine bedroom. The downstairs task room can be used as an office, a laundry room, or to accommodate the occasional guest. The internal area of this pod, including deck, is 20.5 square meters or 221 square feet, with a shower area located in a corridor between the front and back of the house. The deck is meant to encourage indoor and outdoor living. Clusters of pods can be arranged for various applications, and these are only available in South Africa. Number 4 Working with partners like medical NGOs, Abad Shelters Foundation provides low-cost housing and community design, like the one they build in Tanzania with the help of Ty Pennington from Trading Spaces and Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Currently, Abad Shelters are focused in Ghana, Zambia, South Africa, and Tanzania. And with donations from outside sources, Abad Shelters provides informal settlements where large numbers of families are lacking homes of any substance. Compact, cost-effective to deliver, and manufactured in massive quantities, these are quick and easy to assemble. The shelters are 10 feet wide and 12 feet long, and a single structure can be completed in one day by four to five people. These structures are made from stock materials, are fire-resistant, have translucent plastic end panels, and integrated rain gutters that direct water away from the structure. Number three. The Roanoke by Tumbleweed Tiny Houses features an open floor plan under a 10-foot ceiling. A shed-style roof is set up on a movable trailer and will sleep from two to six people. This combines the kitchen and living area on the main lower level and has a loft that can be used as a bedroom or storage area. The main level is 161 to 219 square feet, with the loft being 29 to 96 square feet depending on the floor plan. The Roanoke comes in either a 20-foot or 26-foot length, with a height of 13 feet 4 inches and a width of 8 feet 6 inches, and has a dry weight of 9,000 to 12,000 pounds. The starting price on these is $62,950. Number 2. EcoCapsule made its public debut on January 31st with a total of 50 exclusive pieces intended to be delivered within the US, Australia, Japan, and the EU by the end of this year. The exterior has a length of 4.67 meters or 15 feet, a width of 2.2 meters or 7.2 feet, and a height of 2.5 meters or 8.2 feet. The body is made from insulated fiberglass shells overlaid on an aluminum framework where rainwater is filtered for convenience. The capsule comes with high-efficiency solar cells that put out 880 watts of solar power and a low-noise wind turbine that produces 750 watts of power. Sleeping one to two people, this has a gross floor area of 8.2 square meters, or 88 square feet, and the total weight of this capsule with full water tanks and trailer is 2,000 kilograms, or 4,409 pounds. The price of this is around 79,000 euros or $92,000 with the more affordable mass-produced second series expected at the beginning of next year. While you're contemplating which small shelter you like best, how about sharing this video with a friend and letting us know in the comments which one you would like to see in a future video. Number 1 Partnering with New Story, a nonprofit organization, Icon built the first permitted 3D printed home in America. Unveiled in March of 2018, this was built in Austin, Texas using a mobile printer. The mobile printer can build a 600 to 800 square foot home in less than 24 hours and for a price of under $4,000. Icon also developed innovative materials tested for safety, comfort, and resiliency 
that are designed to function with nearly zero waste and work with limited water, power, and labor infrastructure to tackle housing shortages. New Story plans to print the first community in El Salvador in 2019, with other locations to follow. New Story is currently raising money to fund 100 homes for the next phase of research and development, and you can donate on their website. Hey guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.